thought we'd uh, take a few minutes and ponder what it is that we're doing. Ha! We're uh, down to the last, uh, well, about 15 days, give or take, um, till our on-the-road departure date, heading for the property and down to New Mexico. Mrs. Mel, <laughs> so far she hasn't said nothing. Well, because you were doing all the talking. Oh. But, uh, yeah, we still got some things to do. We still got some packing to do. Um, prepping the RV a little bit more. We just got a few things to kind of arrange that, uh, um, before we head out. Yeah, you know, we got, uh, just a little under 2,000 miles to put on us. And we want to make sure that we haven't, uh, A, forgotten anything that was, uh, is something that we think that we might need while we're there. Um, of course, we can always bring things back when we come back. And and uh, but yeah, we're getting uh, to the point where you know the RV's gonna have a good majority of the the things that we are gonna need. And between that and um, well, the box trailer, of course, is really crowded. We're going to try to put a few more things in it if we have room. We still have the shed where we have a little, um, what do you call it, Rubbermaid shed? Is that what it is? It is, yeah. We're going to break that down and we're hoping it can fit into the enclosed trailer. If not, it goes on the back of the little trailer that the car pulls. It doesn't weigh too much, but having that extra little storage closet to... Uh is often handy um we right, right now we're using some plastic uh three drawer style things that you can pick up at your local walmart or even some dollar stores have them eh, they work okay for what we use them for but I'm, we're going to put them inside the um the tiny house here and and uh we'll save them for when we come back for the things that we need to stash and stuff into them um they take up a lot of space and well they're cheap and efficient and we can pick up new ones um if we decide that we need one at some point in time it's just easier to leave them and use them when we come back rather than take them with us and then wish we still had some here we thought we'd talk a little bit about what we had to go through to get to this point this stage of our going on to our next the transitional phase <laughs> of our life yeah um as most of you know we wintered um for a little while down in new mexico last year um our thought was we go down there do a little work save some money and maybe come back up here to minnesota and buy a small property well that didn't work out so much um actually we decided that we really kind of enjoyed wintering in New Mexico and um, so the money that we had begun to save well we turned into buying a property um, in New Mexico um, and we bought this RV in and New then we bought the bought an RV so we could travel back and forth and uh, we knew we had to fix up the RV but of course before we decided to fix that up we went and bought the box trailer which we bought because we were talking about getting a U-Haul and haul the stuff down with the U-Haul. But the cost of the U-Haul wasn't much cheaper than what we paid for this trailer. And this trailer is ours and we get to keep it. Where the U-Haul we would have had to give back. We right. So whether we use the, uh, the enclosed trailer for keeping things in storage. Um, we've talked about making it... Uh, um, 
the beginnings of a new tiny house or mobile portable music production type of thing. Um, yeah, it's got the, a lot of different options available to it once it's empty. Uh, we were going to use it fully for storage. Um, the thing with the U-Haul, the, the biggest complaint was, is, yeah, the cost of it, and then we were going to have to stick everything back in storage when we got there. Um, we've kind of opted now just to do that same thing, that um, once we get uh, um, near there, before we actually even get back up onto the property, um, we're going to spend the night at a truck stop that's not too far away and uh, get up early the, on uh, um, the next morning and go put the majority of the stuff that's in the enclosed trailer at this point in time back into storage. We won't need as much storage as we had. Uh, if you've seen the video of the rummage container clearing uh, sale and so forth, We won't need quite as much space for that. So if you haven't seen the other video, you know, take a peek at it. Um, like I said, we're not going to uh, rent a unit that's quite as big as that. Um, although we do want to make sure that we have enough space for it. And then we'll just uh, shoot down from the property as we um, are able to build and expand, you know, our residence and our place out there. Uh, we'll just take a few things up that are more valuable to us in the short term and it'll be a lot lighter to try to drag uh, that trailer up to the through the dirt in the desert better internet out here in the middle of nowhere it's um oh, a little tough to send a video yeah we're trying to figure out what the cat is yeah we had a, a little, we had a mouse yeah <laughs> she chased it around yesterday but i didn't think that she'd actually caught on to it um so we put some sticky pad mouse things out and well we caught it last night so she's still trying to figure out what i did with it <laughs> i think she's sad that we didn't let her play with it first but um pulling a sticky pad off of a cat does not sound like a very fun time if you watched the very first videos uh i got some corrections to make i found out a bunch more information about it but we'll save on to that um till we get up there but um yeah it's it's a beautiful part of the country really and gosh, for, for wintering and um, being a part of, uh, you know, non-snow, non-subarctic uh, misery for six, seven months at a time. Why is she meowing? Uh, little birds outside, <laughs> I would imagine. She's um, going from mice to birds now. Yeah, she'll chirp. It's funny. Uh, if you can hear that. <laughs> Um, that's her making little bird noises and well she's a cat <laughs> so but yeah we want to go do ex you know, explore all kinds of stuff out there so we'll we'll make a you know some day runs and go kind of get to learn the area um of course i'm excited i want to go hit uh, albuquerque and see what the the big city has for us um we can go a little bit further and go up into santa fe which is the the capital of uh, new mexico um, so yeah, we got a lot of things to go look and do and see, and besides setting up to see what works and what doesn't work and, you know, whether or not where we position ourselves up on our property, cause well, I don't have a lot to do with, uh, how we, uh, um, run a little grid power, um, here and there while, while we are on site. <laughs> So yeah, I, I would expect that to, we can uh, <laughs> we can do more we can do more she videos. Is. Uh, this is our pussy cat. This is Gluteus Faximus. You may have seen her standing outside one day in her little outdoor kennel area. And she does the, doesn't want attention right now. She'd rather hunt. She's looking for mice's. But it's autumn here in Minnesota, and this is the time that mice will do their best to try to find someplace warm and cozy and get into your RV. Um, normally, if we were storing it or not going to be using it much more, you know, this would be the time of year that we would uh, um, drop down mothballs or um, some of the other uh, clean scent mouse deterrent. Um, dryer sheets. 
but uh, um, knowing that we're going to be using it and, you know, if we can't quite get them all picked back up and I wouldn't want one of the dogs or somebody to get into chewing on a mothball. Not that they would, but you never know. So Fax comes in here a couple times a day and we're hoping just her scent will keep them from coming in. Yeah, she's got a litter box in here, so she's not afraid to use it. But anyway, we're looking forward to um, getting on the road and making our break for New Mexico here. Um, there's some nerves and some apprehension and stuff involved in it, but those are normal. Um, we're hoping that we have a nice, safe, event-free journey. Um, it would mean a lot to us to get our, our travels down and, um, we've got our route ready. We've, uh, broken it down into segments of ours. We are meeting some friends of ours partway through. Um, and of course for any other, uh, um, valuable travel tips, especially when you're, um, going long distances is to make sure that other people have your route and potential times for destinations. So we've shared that with a few other people too. And, uh, so if we, uh, do have issues or don't report in, or nobody happens to see us post on social media or something by a certain time, you know, they're, they're bound to inquire what happened to us. Um, so it's a safety thing. I think it's, I think it's handy. I think, you know, that's probably the only advantage of social media these days is really just being able to stay in contact with people that uh, you want to stay in contact with. And in this case, it uh, stays as a, uh, as a safety feature for our travels because people know that, you know, we have a certain time of meeting a destination. And if we don't, uh, don't show up, then, you know, they can inquire and kind of figure out where we were and where we might be between here and there. So that's what we're up to so far, and we'll try to get some more stuff for Sunday for the video. We have an upcoming party for us. Yeah, we're having a little go away party. Um, wasn't exactly the way we'd uh, wanted to plan it, but it'll work out. I think for most people that want to um, take a few minutes and you know bid us farewell and safe journeys and so forth. Um, it's a, just a small gathering because here in Minnesota, you can't have anything huge for any reason because of COVID, but, uh, um, no, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to just, uh, get out and go do something else and enjoy a little, uh, food, drink and friendship with, uh, people that we know. If you see, or if you want us to do a video on anything, just comment below. Otherwise, we appreciate you paying attention to Art of Time Living. And we will see you again real soon. Bye now.